Hello, fellow Wanderers. I'm Mendry. Thank you for joining me as we wander through some more RimWorld. Now we're doing Alpha 15 Modded. We're in a colony called Demroth. Well, they haven't actually tried to name it yet. Let's see what they actually name the colony here. I don't know if they'll actually try to name it until we get beds or something. All right, so this is going to be our cooking area. So now we need to do a storage area behind it. So let's see. This needs to be fairly large. It'll work. And what I'm actually going to do in this one is segment off the kitchen a little bit. Oh, I need to put an airlock in though. So we're going to cancel this. Well, no. That. Here. And a door. And that will be an airlock for us. Okay, we're not going to put an airlock here because this is not going to have exposure to the outside. All right, you guys can work on that. So what I'm going to do is uh, Databrog. No, oh, we're just going to, we're going to name you Demroth like we named the plant. Vaughn. Demroth, by the way, is the name of a world and a story that I will never write. Ooh, and what is oh that, that warg is really chewing things up that's a female warg that's our warg also a female warg hmm. speaking of our warg your handle animal hen the hall What I'm doing here is uh, all finished meals will go here. Corpses will go. Uh, this will be not allowed for animals. I might not even put that there. I might what I do might what I what I might do is put corpse storage here and part storage here, or I might just put an airlock here and actually put parts here, corpses here, put an airlock for people to deliver in. That way I can have my animals haul corpses in without having to worry about them coming in and eating my raw food. Because if I remember correctly, if I look at... Are you people? Hey, you're just a war, but you'll do. Uh, they will only eat raw meat and corpses. So, there you go. Even maple? Yep! So they need access to corpses and raw meat. So there will be a section decided, devoted to corpses and raw meat. Uh, mostly just corpses. But yeah, they're going to actually be a little bit of a pain. Oh. Madden Manhunter Tortoise. Okay. Problem solved. And I've got them harvesting berries because it's just a good way to supplement, especially on a map that's flat. There's a lot of berry bushes around. It's a good way to supplement our food income. All right, so this is done. So now then, how do we want to do this? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say... You guys can get rid of the roofs here. I want to check something. I don't know if they can reach it. Ah, also. Hold the door, please. Hmm. 
if I deconstruct this wall real quick. You guys take those ruse out. I want to check something. I want to know if, if I leave this unroofed, can I vent enough heat here to put the air the coolers internally uh, by venting through the roof? Because those coolers put out a lot of heat. Uh, an almost annoying amount of heat. And we have only 132 wood stored up. Stockpile a little bit more first. We'll need to make electricity. I will probably put electricity. I don't know, over here, probably. All right. That got the roofs out. Low food. Down to 11. Yep. All fine. And yeah, you can see our manager is automatically marking trees and berries for us to harvest and such. So we're actually going to end up with a lot of berries and, and such to work with. So we're not too worried about starving the first year. After that, you know, you need to get food set up. But for the first year, we'll be okay. We want to get a growing area set up eventually. So I will earmark this area down here. By earmark, I mean area down growing. So I'll make sure not to build over that. Uh, too smart and a slow poke. Nope. As much as I like to have a fourth person here, not with too smart and slow poke, and not a sculptor. I've already got lots of artists in this. I don't need a sculptor. All right, I'm going to let them work for a bit because they are eventually going to need to do a lot of hauling. I'm not going to be able to train our warg up until I've got more food. What I will do is I will put plant cut at... I want them to haul it in because sometimes what will happen is, is it'll bug out. It'll start cutting tree and cutting trees and cutting trees without ever hauling anything back. So it won't even register that we've got enough trees cut. And plant cutting is not that big of an importance. They'll cut when they run out of other stuff to do, after all. I do actually want to also put... It's pretty much, when you're done with the other task, because we don't have enough colonists right now to uh, have a dedicated research quite yet. Or you're having fun decimating our food supply. And yeah, see, we're already at 544 wood. Then we're going to continue to chop, even though it's supposed to stop at 500. Because we didn't have hauling, that is a high enough priority to point out that, yeah, note, we're no longer low on food. <laughs> what a berry steak. 12 days. Should be alright for now. Yeah, they harvested a lot more than those two. My own mistake for not managing it. Yep. First raid. And our people are not that bit of shot, so this should be kind of interesting. All right, he's going to prepare a while. Oh, no, now he's not. <laughs> I 
Thank you. Continuing on from that little show. Uh, we are going to want to make fine. You. Okay. We've got a thousand wood. I think it's time to start putting stuff to you. Uh, first things first. Temperature. Blur. And then I'm going to put power, power over here. I'm going to go ahead and that room this direction because over here we're going to have an open area anyway. Wind turbine, gap, gap. Wind turbines, some salt. enough for now. I'll get our power situation running. I'll make a power room here. Once that's done, our room's actually going to be a little bit larger because I want to be able to put enough circuit breakers in it. Normally I leave these quite small just because they're battery fodder. But we'll go ahead and make this one a little bigger. Uh, once that's done, we can actually build their bedrooms. Huh. Oh, that reminds me. The dumping stockpile over there. Our ward feeds itself. Not entirely certain if that's a good thing or not, but uh, that is how it is. This is going to run us a little low on components right off the bat, but that's okay. And yeah, I'm trying to make this a very enclosed structure for a reason. I will, I will, once toxic fallout comes in and we need to seal up, this will allow us to seal up indoors and still move around fairly easily. Makes me sad that the blueprints didn't carry over. I had some pretty fun blueprints set up for pre-built kitchens and all that. But uh, I will try and work with that because it has an import blueprint option, so I'm just not sure how you export them. Oh, he failed construction. And probably used up the component. Oh, didn't use up the component. That's good. Finish it. Good. Okay. So we've got our battery room. Let's go ahead and put a door in here. And we want to put our batteries in here. And we'll keep them away from the walls because I do want to control how these hook up our grid Later. At the moment, I don't care. Later on, I'm going to want to be able to control them. Lots of food. We'll get cooking going here after we get our cold rooms actually cold. All right, now then. Get some power run. Minor break risk, need joy source, fair enough. That, joy, and toss that around. And once that's done, we'll set up some stockpile zones. I'm gonna make this, what I will do is I will put our um, common area up off of this room here, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. 
I am more curious to see how much temperature builds up in this unroofed area because of these uh, coolers. But we'll find out in a second. I am dangerously low on components. However, I can already see some on the map. Find those out real quick. I know I saw more around here somewhere. Uh, there we go. Got some there. And also, we've got uh, that down there we can deconstruct. There should be a couple more, but we're not going to worry about that too. All right, it gets our lights turned on, it gets our coolers running. 28 degrees. Is it stable at 28? 29. Slowly building up. Hmm. I was really hoping I'd be able to vent enough heat through an unroofed area. Obviously, it doesn't matter. I mean, this I'm gonna I'm gonna eventually expand the borders out here. In fact, why don't we go ahead? That since we've got lots of wood lying around. That plus one additional. Of course. Area. I want to watch this for a little bit. 23. So it cools down at night. That's fine. So I need you to be... That'll work. Okay. All right. Oh, and be you guys lock yourself. Or right here. I put the gap there so they'd be able to walk around and service anything in this area. Just for the future reference. They will auto clear obstructions out of the way eventually. Blocked by oak. But they're already good to be cut. Oh, poor Maple. He keeps eating that tortoise corpse and uh, rotted. So she food sickness, but not pregnant, so I don't care. Rule of me, I know. How are we doing now? 23, 23. Okay. Next thing we need to do is we need to get in some flowers. I don't want to store food on dirt floor. Not to mention, they t kind of hate working on dirt floors. It's ugly. Okay, you're no longer blocked. Blocked. Excellent. We don't have nearly enough power. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. That's all right. We actually got some more wood because we're cutting the trees down. And we're back to 14 opponents, which is... So next we're going to build the bedrooms. Maybe, maybe I'll build the common room first. They're going to start getting really angry at me if I don't build bedrooms, though. So we're going to build the bed. We're going to put a gap between the wall of the bedroom and this. We'll actually put the blueprints to use here. So we're going to put a two tile gap here. I'll put a hallway down here later. All right. So. Seven by seven. Like that. Oh, 
put floors. Just like that. A duvet. No, hold on. Uh I'll actually have this face into the hallway. I could that was a that was silly of me. I could have just moved the door. I was not thinking. I was not thinking at all. Structure. All. Here, please. All right. As soon as you guys are ready, go ahead and get that done as well. It'll be a while since they're building all the floors, but I do want the floors built. It looks like the other wargs kind of wandered off. I hope we're gonna have enough meat to hunt with the wargs killing all the animals. Well, we'll see in a bit. I should have already started planting. I'm gonna regret that later. But nope, we're gonna we're gonna run with it. I got a thousand berries in storage. I need to start actually cooking them. We'll do that here in a minute. Also gonna start planning for this area. Bulk goods trader, that's fine. You need a bulk goods trader at the moment, but it's nice to know it's there. Plus, you guys get into rotting. Days, nine days. Bulk good traders. The traders don't seem to care about hospitality, it's just the visitors that care. And the visitors aren't very picky to start with. Ooh, cargo pods. Huh. Steel. I'm not going to complain on a flat map for extra steel. All right, that gets our wood reserves down to a more reasonable level. All right, first things first. Uh, I need to put a stockpile here. Risk stockpile. All right, you, clear all, all corpses go here, pops and oak leaf here, I'll change that, for the moment it can go, don't need pemmican, kibble, or a in there, I'm not going to put rugs in there, I have any, I, I don't grow any yet, and it's not going to matter. But yet, all raw foods can get but all meals, all meals, addition, here, here and there. Here and here. Put All right, so your priority is preferred. Your priority is preferred. Make sure that they're actually going to haul that stuff in. Make sure this is cold. Up. Minus two. Yeah, we're okay there. Then what we're actually going to do... At break risk, no. We're going to build a mini fridge. Get big enough room for what I want. 
probably. If not, we'll fix it later. Over here. In fact. Room a little better by holes. That. That. And once these are finished, we're just going to permanently hold these open. Uh, and that should let the heat go through here. I don't want to hold these into too much cold. It'll work. We'll be fine. And I want to her here. And I want to put a cut in here because this has run a little bit long. So we're going to save our game and until our paths cross again, have fun. Stay safe, everyone.